Hey there YouTube, welcome back to my channel, this is Minty Josh 19 In today's GTA Online uh, video, we're gonna be, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade some of your weapons to the Mark II. So to do this, you will need a weapons workshop. And I believe you need to research some of them using your bunker. I'm not sure, but yeah. So anyway, let me just get out of here. I'm going to call the cops off me real quick. Okay, you all saw that. That jeep literally just ran right into the fence and flipped over onto its side. I take it this isn't a social call. If you're wondering why my free, my remove once a level is free, it's because I completed all the doomsday heights. No but apparently, you can't call the cops off on off you if you're in the military base driving a stolen vehicle. So I'm just going to try and get out of here as best I can, driving this stolen uh, army truck. And that's a tank behind me, so I'm just going to run. And try not to crash. Rocker. Really? Oh, uh, okay, you know what? No. I don't feel like outrunning these guys anymore, so. I just chose the easy way out. Don't, I wouldn't recommend doing that a lot. It costs $500 if you don't put your money in the bank. So instead, I'm just going to call in my vehicle. Once I get to a road. <coughs> you are how am I too far from a suitable road there's literally a road right in front of me like I don't understand it there's literally a road like 10 feet from me okay so this minus all that on how to upgrade your gun some of your guns to mark 2 you need a weapons workshop there, I think there's one in the terabyte along with the mobile operations uh, center. Um, I don't know if there's one in the bunker or the facility. I never bothered to look. Um, so we're just going to call it in my mobile operations center. Now the mobile operations center also has a vehicle workshop in it which can be used to customize, customize the military vehicles that you have. When you look on your map, it'll appear as like a little satellite array thing. Okay, let me just drive there real quick. Now, you won't be able to upgrade all the guns to Mark II. Just a few, just a certain few of them. No, certain few of them. My bad. Uh, okay, here we go. Hmm. Two Hoots Falls. I've actually never been here before, so uh, give me a second here. <coughs> Yeah, I've never been to this part of the map before, even though I've been to the military base like 5,000 times. Okay. <sighs> Man, am I tired? So, pretty much once you get to the mobile operation, yeah, mobile operation center, you just go inside in the back. And you'll see this guy, weapons workshop. Next to him right here, you do have to buy this. This is an add-on. This isn't like you buy the mobile operation center already has this thing. You actually have to buy this. Uh, but you'll see like this dismantled gun right here. So the guns that you can upgrade are the SNS pistol, the heavy revolver, the special carbine, the bullpup rifle, the pump shotgun, the marksman rifle, the pistol, 
the SMG, the assault car, yeah, the assault rifle, and the carbine rifle. Along with the combat MG, the heavy sniper, and so on. Got something in mind? Now, let me get rid of the revival real, <laughs> real quick. <coughs> okay. Now, with each weapon, you will have the ability to buy rounds. You can also put in some add-ons on them, like that you can't put on ammunition. Like this thing has a flashlight on it. That's that little white dot. Um, you can put a scope on it, which I think looks kind of stupid. You can put a muzzle like a suppressor, and whatever that one is. You can add a library digital camo. Some of them you have to research. Yeah, you have to research it in the bunker. You can put some tints on it. Which, personally, I think that one's cool, the blood red feature. Or, you can revert it back to the stock uh, SNS pistol. Now, the heavy revolver, I had mine with the gold library for CEO or VIP. And now it looks like this. Uh, there is writing on there. I'm not sure what that says. Ammo types. Um, so each gun has a it has different magazines unless you have a heavy revolver. In which case, it just has different types of ammo. There's the default rounds, which are your standard uh, um, bullets. Tracer rounds. Bullets with bright visibility markers that match the tint of the gun. I'm not sure what those do. Incendiary rounds that can. Uh, burn people. Hollow point. I think they do more damage. And full metal jack rounds are obviously armor piercing rounds. You can add a scope to this one too. <clears throat> which again I think looks kind of stupid. You can add a flashlight. Which I'm going to. You can add um, a muzzle to it. You can add different libraries. You could add tids. Or you can revert it back to the standard heavy revolver. And then there's the special carbine. Now, the tracer magazine, you'll know it's a tracer mag because it will have a white bottom to the actual magazine. It has a decrease in range when you use these types of rounds. So. I would recommend using them. You do get the little flashlight onto the side there. You can add a holographic scope, small scope, or large scope. I have the holographic sight. Um, you can add a whole bunch of different style muzzle brakes to it. You can add the grip to the front. You can put on an upgraded barrel. Add a livery to it. And you can tints and you can revert back. Next you have the bullpen, the bullpen, yeah, bullpup rifle. This one again, white on the magazine for tracer rounds. You can have the flashlight. Same thing, you can have different sights to it, different barrels, different muzzles, a different grip, livery, stuff like that. <coughs> Now, the one gun that's actually going to be different is the Marksman Rifle. Hang on a sec. Looking to do some damage, huh? Okay, there we go. So, for this rifle, um, it's not considered a... Because I don't... Because I have the zoom scope on it, actually I have the large scope on it. It's not considered a actual. Not a no, holographic scope on it, apparently. It's not considered a sniper anymore, but just a semi-auto rifle. Which I kind of like. <coughs> I kind of like it. I do have this uh, library called Patriotic. Gives us the American flag look, but it's a hundred thousand dollars, so I'm not gonna buy it. Um, 
We have my pump shotgun. Same thing. This is the first gun I customized and upgrade to Mark II is the handgun. So, but then you also have the SMG Mark II, the assault carbine, or right, that yeah, assault carbine. Why do I keep calling it the assault carbine? The assault rifle. You have the carbine rifle, the combat MG. And the heavy sniper. So those are all different guns with different types of ammo and different add-ons you can use. Um, like I said, you can't really use them all. So, yeah. So that's how you're gonna upgrade all your rifle, some of your weapons, handguns, rifles, shotguns, from the Mark One to the Mark Two. <clears throat> so yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hit the like and subscribe button below. Don't forget to leave a comment about what you think of this video. And be sure to check out my other videos about, you know, my military vehicles and the prank video I did. And all my Fast and Furious movie card videos. So, yeah. Hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I will see you all next week. Have a good night.